Welcome back everybody. In this session, we're going to look at the interface for Heavy M and how you create content ready to start mapping really interesting objects and geometric shapes that you can then attribute different animation effects to it. Okay, so you already know that over on the left, we have our layers panel. So this is where we're going to start creating different layers that we're going to map. Over on the top, we know we have our toolbar, so we know our yellow features, we have our keyboard shortcuts and our projector. We know that this square is our projection mapping area. So anything inside of this area, we will um, be part of our mapping. Down the right hand side is where we create our content. So this is where we add our animations or our effects. Down at the bottom is where we can create animations that respond to music, so response to beats, etc. And on the bottom panel is where we're going to create our scenes. So we create different scenes with different animated effects that we can then um, trigger during a live projection map. So firstly, I just take the triangle and I'm just going to drag that across into my projection area. I'm just going to increase the size of this there. And you'll notice on the left side, that's added face one in group one. So already it's added it into the layers panel. So let me just make this a little bit bigger and I'll just play around with this here just so you can see it a little bit um, more clearly defined. There we go. So if I drag across with my mouse, you'll see that I can then um, highlight lots of different structures within that. Okay, so here we go. Just get that over there. And yeah, I'm just trying to level this up so it's somewhat straight and just drag that down there, drag that across there. And I'm going to do this really roughly. When you do it for yourself, you can spend a little bit more time and be a little bit more precise. So I'm just going to add a square in here there. And that's just me zooming in with my mouse pad. So um, good thing to know, if you're zooming in with your mouse pad, so if you're on a laptop, it can be quite sensitive, shall we say. So I just did a quick two finger zoom and it absolutely shot straight in. So you might be better using the percentage icon at the top of the panel there, just underneath where the green icons are. So I'm just going to level this rectangle up. Let's just bring this shape in here. And you'll notice that there's anchor points within here. So there's three anchor points on this one, four on the square and three on the triangle, etc. So I'm just going to make this into some sort of shape. And then I'll just bring the circle in just so you can see um, what these do. And again, if I pull one, it affects the opposite one on the circle. Just pull that down a little bit and we'll just pull that across just so you can see um, what these shapes look like. Just zoom out there so you can see it, zoom back in. And again, that's me using the trackpad. So as you can see, it is really sensitive. I can also right click on any object there. So if I right click, you see I get this menu system up there only when it's selected. Okay, so that's how you create shapes in Heavy M. Join me for the next session where we will start looking at animating those.